hello and welcome to mathematics made easier channel this is your favorite mathematics tutor comfort and welcome at them for today i am going to take you through some teaching methodologies as a teacher how do you teach that is a question on board for today i believe you'll tell me yours after i am done with mine so with this, I am going to use myself as a practical example to tell you how I teach when I get to class. For me, I believe in practical activities. So I always want to make my lesson so practical as possible. So when I get to class, the first I do is I divide my lessons into sections. The first is the introductory part. Then, I move to the delivery section. After the delivery section, I now move to the evaluation section and end my lesson as the closure. Right. Now, let's pick them one after the other and see what goes into each section. When I start with the introductory part of it, I now ask my students questions to review their previous knowledge relevant previous knowledge based on the topic i'm going to treat and link it to the question the topic on board for the day so after reviewing my students knowledge i usually take about five minutes in doing that then i move to the delivery stage and this is where the actual activity goes on. And at this stage, I engage my students in activities like discussions, group studies. So I, took, I put them into smaller groups. Then we do lots of activities. This is to engage them in the lesson. And when it's done, this is done. I usually take about 25 minutes to do this. In order for me to know whether what I have taught them is, has been well absorbed by them, I now evaluate. I now assess their understanding by giving them questions to do. After, as a teacher, you realize all that you absorbed or were understood by your students through the questions that you've given to them. You now summarize your lesson. Or we have something called I do, you do, and we do to exit my lesson. So for the I do, I'll give a question and I will solve for you to see. Then you do, for the you do, you would have to solve your question. Then other we do, we all solve the question together. So when you get it right, you now move out. When you get it right, you now move out. When you get it right, you now move out. With this, your lesson becomes very, very interactive. And no student becomes dull or bored with your teaching. So as a teacher, try and involve so many activities in your teaching. Adapt so many teaching strategies when you are teaching. And don't make your teaching boring. Most students or most teachers use the root learning. They just have to put the cane on the students and say two two so with that mode of teaching students get so much confused and do not grab the concepts well what if instead of you saying two two or two two three students don't even know it is two times three why don't we use the repeated addition method for multiplication as there so as a teacher we teach from known to unknown okay after you teaching the addition 
you now want to move to the web application try to use the addition approach to before you jump to the multiplication with that it makes the lesson very practical and understandable most students don't do well or becomes phobia in mathematics because of the approach teachers have been using in their lesson delivery you see that you say the thing before you explain give them the opportunity to think based on the experiences they have in their immediate environment give them the opportunity give the student the opportunity to think and come up with their own understanding of the concept and with that the lesson will be so interactive and students at the end of the lesson would understand everything that you thought without any need of going to chew and pour formulas. So please teachers, I will encourage we involve our students in our teaching. Ask them questions. Give them the opportunity to also ask you questions. Okay? And I will be coming out with some small, small tips involved in teaching. And I believe in that we will be able together make our students understand the concepts that we teach. Ahead of time, I would want to wish everyone a happy Mathematics Day. You know, my, my, that is 14th March. It is a day set down for the celebration of International uh, Mathematics Day. Okay? So, as a teacher, as a mathematics tutor, what are you doing with your students? Perform some activities. Involve them. Make teaching very lively. And let's make it so practical. Okay? Using just the immediate things in our environment, the things in our immediate environment. Mathematics is practical. Everything around us is mathematics. Everything we see here, everything we do, we involve mathematics in it. So why don't we adopt it in our teaching? Instead of picking a textbook, open to page this, what is there? Read for me. No. Let's change our ways. And I believe some few years to come, mathematics, we are going to take mathematics to the next level. Thank you so much for your time and your attention. Please subscribe to this channel for more tutorials. So we meet again. Please stay safe and learn hard. Let's make mathematics an interesting subject to learn. Bye.